there's one thing Oregon has an abundance of, it's waterfalls. Welcome to Tumalo Falls. and the water isn't quite like this. It's obviously snowing right now, so this is, this is a great time to come. Um, you, the gates are actually co closed, so you have a two and a half mile hike in, something to, to make note of on the time of year. Um, in the summer, you'll be able to come in park at the, the parking lot here, and it's only a quarter mile hike. There's a beautiful view from down below, what you just saw. But if you want to uh, get a look from over top, you can too. But it's another quarter mile, pretty much straight uphill. Hence the reason we can't breathe. You guys might think after watching all these that we're just in terrible shape, which <laughs> it's true. I'm probably in pretty bad shape, but we hike a lot and it doesn't ever seem to get easier. Well, in here, we also have to think we're higher elevation. So air's a little thinner. That's what I always blame it on. True it's always the elevation. But this is amazing. This was not expected uh, to have this kind of snow up here. It's like a winter wonderland. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, just, yeah, almost, it's just speechless to come up here and be able to see this. So the one tip that we always tell you guys about coming to Oregon, if you come to visit, just wait five minutes. Went from a snowstorm to sunny as can be. So in 1979, somebody left their campfire and it started a forest fire, burned 4,300 acres. So it's, they came in and took out some of the dead trees and it totally eroded uh, the path for this creek. So it's, it's different, it looks different than if you were here before 1979. So although Bend has a lot of outdoor activities and just a lot of different things to do, it also has one thing in the world that nobody else has, the last blockbuster. All right, so this brings back some memories. Uh, so weird to be walking through a blockbuster again. We spent hours and hours and hours, babe, didn't we? Oh yeah. Kim used to get so frustrated with me because I wouldn't pick out a movie because I'd have to look through basically every one of them. <laughs> I think there were a few times I actually went back and sat in the car because I was just done. <laughs> As she said earlier, there were probably some times where we spent more time looking for a movie than actually watching the movie. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the last blockbuster in the world uh, after 9,000 stores. Uh, this is the last one uh, that you can see. So if you ever want to check out the blockbuster, last one, come uh, check out Ben and stop on by. Got a lot of uh, memorabilia and uh, just a bunch of movies you can still rent. Uh, and of course you can uh, purchase so yeah definitely stop by this is really cool what's going on so i need to get a memory card for my camera and literally two seconds ago there was i'm not even joking it was perfectly clear and now there's a snowstorm just beating us down luckily i got this brand new rain jacket yesterday so that i can kind of protect myself Welcome to Smith Rock State Park. This is one of the seven wonders of Oregon. Um, an absolutely um, amazing scenery here. Uh, there are hiking trails, mountain biking, um, the rock climbing. This is like people from across the globe come here to, to climb the rock. Um, there's all kinds of wildlife you'll see. We actually have two deer sleeping right down below us. 
So come along with us as we do a little hiking here at Smith Rock. And uh, one thing to note, the parking is limited. So if you're here on the weekend, either come early or if you can, it's ideal to come during the week. These cathedral-like spires offer some of the most challenging climbing routes in the world. One climb is rated one of the three most difficult in the world. The climbing techniques developed here in the 1980s drove the development of sport climbing in this country. On any day, you can expect to find climbers here from around the world. All right, so as you can see here, they've got uh, crutches, a brace, and then a cart uh, to carry you out just in case uh, anything happens to you as you're climbing. And hopefully they won't have to use that anytime soon. Welcome to Lake Billy Chinook. Uh, we are just about an hour outside of Bend. Uh, this is an absolutely incredible place. If you've never been here, you have to come check it out. Um, there's the Cove Palisades State Park, which has um, quite a bit of camping. Um, there's a couple other parks. They're not state parks, but they're other parks um, without the, all the amenities um, along the lake. This is, there's nobody here now, but during the summer, this is a, a really happening hot spot. But as you can see out the lake, I mean, as you, as you traverse through the lake, you just have these massive canyon walls on either side of you, and it's nothing like you've ever seen before. All right, so as I mentioned, there are some state parks with RV camping, um, but here's a, a few unique camping spots. These ones you can actually, uh, they're first come, first serve, but you're, you camp right here in these little pads, and there's the lake right there. So not everybody has an opportunity to uh, experience something like this. Uh, you can actually, if you have a boat, you could boat into these spots, and if there's nobody here, it's yours. So it's so peaceful out here. Literally the only thing we hear is the water coming in and the eagles making noise up overhead. So we're trying to be quiet. We're continuing this way because there's deer around the corner. We want to try to get a shot of it. We don't know if we can. All right, so that was pretty awesome. I was just telling Kim on the way back uh, from our short hike uh, to those campsites that I was a little disappointed that we didn't get a chance to see any uh, deer because every time we come down here, we see deer, um, especially in this time of year. And now there's four of them back here and we're trying to do our best uh, sneaking through, uh, but they spotted us pretty quick. And as soon as we got close enough, uh, one of them yelled out and warned everybody and they took off. So it was kind of cool to see them, but they're all just sitting here staring at us. Unfortunately, they're a little ways away, so you can't see them, but uh, that was pretty neat. I mean, I know it's just deer, but it's kind of cool just to see them out here when it's so peaceful and quiet and we're literally the only two even hiking around here. So, All right, so we are still here uh, near Lake Billy Chinook, uh, Cove Palisade State Park, going for a hike this morning. As you can see, the beanies are on. Pretty cold. We're actually uh, supposedly maybe going to get an inch of snow overnight, so that'll be interesting. But right now, uh, clouds, uh, there was some blue sky, not so much anymore, but uh, yeah, it's a seven-mile trail here. Uh, so you, I'm sure, by the time we've never taken this one before, but I'm sure when you get up, you're going to have awesome views of uh, the lake here. So. Don't fall. This is a petroglyph rock, and this area was originally inhabited by Native Americans and they used rock to carve into these boulders, these symbols. Um, they, shared their, they shared information, they spoke about their uh, spiritual beliefs and documented life events, but really only those that carved the symbols know what they mean. All right, so on, on our trek, we saw there's um, some wildflowers, we saw an eagle, um, you'll likely see deer. We didn't on this trip, but they're 
there are an abundance of them around this area. Um, we did pass other people with a dog, so it is, and it's a great trail. It's you know plenty wide and it's very well taken care of. Timboro, a uh, really cool spot in the middle of town here, uh, right downtown. They have so many great breweries, but this one here has just got great beer. Yeah, so if you like pizza, uh, this is a great spot. They got uh, great wood fire pizza. Uh, they have outdoor seating where you can sit around a fire if it's cold, and uh, just a really hopping place all the time. If you come on the weekend, uh, expect a good uh, half hour or more wait, uh, sometimes an hour. Uh, but again, you can kind of hang out and have a drink and. Even though it's uh, pretty cold tonight, we're sitting outside and um, you can see the blue sky behind us. So getting pretty lucky at the moment. So we mentioned before that Bend is outdoor Mecca. That's what Bend is known for. Think of um, Boulder and then you have Bend. It's also a dog town. Everybody has dogs. Everybody loves dogs. So if you have a dog, definitely bring them to Bend. What do you guys think about this? That is awesome. Driver and a passenger. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, little trip around some of these hikes, these waterfalls, restaurants, and uh, that Blockbuster. That was pretty cool yeah. to get to go to an old Blockbuster. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we really love Bend. It's uh, just a great town. If you ever get a chance to uh, come out and see it, highly recommend it. Check out uh, visitbend.com if you want some information on lodging, camping, uh, restaurants, things of that nature. They have all kinds of information there. So Yeah, and every time we come here, we find something new to do. So. Yeah. You'll never get bored. We we're just talking about that. I don't think we've ever had a bad trip to Bend. Um, like I said, coming 20 years, except for maybe one time we wanted to go skiing uh, and there was so much ice uh, that we couldn't go skiing that day. But other than that, it's always been good. So yep. hope you guys enjoyed. Safe travels. See ya.